Hi, my name is Nicole Renard, and I'm the Distinguished Young Woman of America for 2013. I'm riding my bike right now in downtown Mobile in search of some of our national sponsors, and they're going to help explain some of tonight's categories. Let's see who we can find. All right, Mayor Stimson, interview is a very important part of the Distinguished Young Woman program. Actually, 25% of each girl's score comes from a 10-minute interview that they have with our panel of judges. And I know in your life, you're very experienced with public speaking and giving interviews, and so would you mind giving some tips to our distinguished young woman? Nicole, I would be glad to. First off, I think it's important to be succinct. Secondly, I think you need to be very truthful. You don't need to tell the audience or the interviewer, you know, what you think they want to hear, because ultimately that will play against you. And the last thing is, my good friend Andy Andrews says, it's very important to smile while you speak and nod your head a little bit. He said, the next thing you know, that whatever you're saying, people will be nodding their head, and they'll be smiling, they'll be agreeing with you. So that's my last suggestion. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mayor Stimson, for having me today. Thanks, Nicole. These are wonderful. Yep. We just finished talking with Mayor Stimson. Now let's go see if we can find Commissioner Rosaria Ludgood. Hello, how are you today? Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Thank you so much, Commissioner Ludgood, for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Well, would you mind telling our audience a little bit more about the self-expression phase of competition? Sure, I'd be glad to. Self-expression accounts for 15% of the contestant's overall score. This competition allows her to show how well she maintains her poise under pressure. The judges assess how well she expresses her personality while thinking on her feet in a public setting. That's a wonderful way to summarize the competition. Thank you so much to you and the county for all your support. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, Nicole, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, Curran. You know, just trying to stay in shape for distinguished young women. Those brownies and donuts tend to show up at the most inconvenient times. Well, it's a good thing you're here at Encore working out on this treadmill, working on some range of motion and strength, balance and proprioception. Is it true that fitness accounts for 15% of the overall competition? It sure does. And you better bring a towel because you'll be sweating after you see the girls' routine. Well, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you, too. <laughs> The next stop on our journey today is the crew headquarters of Alabama Power. I'm here today with Mike Saxon, the division vice president. Thank you so much for having me today, Great Mike. Great to be here. Thank you for being here. Now you know that scholastics are a very important part of the Distinguished Young Woman program. They're actually 20% of the contestants' overall score. And I also hear that scholastics are important to Alabama Power, is that right? That's correct. Scholastics are very important to us. In fact, it takes a lot of bright individuals to generate and deliver electricity to our 1.4 million customers across the state of Alabama. We also think it's important to invest in smart young people like the bright young women who participate in Distinguished Young Women. Uh, the scholastic aspect of Distinguished Young Women is one of the reasons we've been involved in the program since its inception. When our charitable foundation was founded in 1989, one of its primary missions was to help young people achieve their educational goals. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for all that you do to empower young women while you power Alabama. Our pleasure. We are here at one of the Winsell's Oyster House restaurants with my good friend, Mr. Willie Brown. Willie, now I understand you have been shucking oysters for 43 years? Yes, I have. Now that takes some talent. Did you know that talent accounts for 25% of each girl's overall score? No, I didn't, but some good to know. <laughs> it sure is. Well, can you show me how to shuck your oysters? Yeah. On us, you got two different sides. You got this rough side here, you got what's called a smooth side. You always go on the smooth side because of this ridge that overlaps. It's just about impossible to get in on the other side. Just find your little opening there. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, now that takes talent. Let's see how I do. Now that you know about all our phases of competition, you enjoy the rest of tonight's show and I'm going to get back on my bike. I'm out of here.